Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. Today we're going to take a look at a case that I've kind of had on the back burner for a little bit here uh, just because I've got all these arcades going on here in the house and I had some other computers that I had to work on a few laptops and blah 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 but anyways uh, the one that I'm going to show you today is uh, the SAMA Space X1 ARGB case. Uh, it looked pretty interesting there, and uh, I thought I'd uh, add it to my arsenal of cases that I got here in the house, because I'm actually uh, getting ready to do some selling here. Tax season, of course, is coming up, so that's usually when I do a lot of my sales. But uh, anyways, uh, let's get this unboxed and take a look at it and see what this thing looks like. All right, so here we have it unboxed. Now, you know, before I get going here, let me just rant a little bit uh like i said I've, I've kind of been out of the loop a little bit with you know doing cases and computer builds because i've been busy with other stuff but uh yeah i happen to notice that the prices of gpus and shit has really gone up oh my god holy shit <laughs> it's just ridiculous um, I, I was like pricing like rtx car I mean, if you, you can't even get them you can't even get them and uh so I've I've got like you know a couple RTX 2060s here at the house. I got like a uh, 1660 Super. I think I got a couple of those too. I got like an RX 5500 XT, and I was almost thinking of just selling those, you know, if like for profit or something, and you know, sell them for higher than what I paid for them, of course, you know, because you know that's the whole uh, capitalist system. But uh, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna hold out. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I might sell those, but God, it's just crazy how much that stuff has just went up. But anyways, getting back to this case, um, I don't know how well this is going to pick up on camera, but you can see that it comes with three, no, excuse me, four RGB fans, which is awesome. Let me unscrew this here uh and take this side off there we go uh it looks like it's capacitive thumb screws there and it's it just flip this around so you can have a look at this and oh this is nice this is padded right here just on the top though wonder why that's kind of weird but yeah tinted glass you know there i am hawkeye shirt anyways let me set this down right there and we'll have a look on the inside here. What do we got? Uh, this would be for the top, of course. A manual. Stuff that over there for a second. And it looks like a tray for your uh, two and a half inch drives. Fits two of them. Goes right in there. And of course, that's removable. And looking down here, and I should see if I can get my light on down here for you guys and shine it over here a little bit maybe um looks like you could put some fans down here at the bottom too if you wanted to this is full grill and then there's little holes like right here and here and what have you that you can plug a fan into uh, what about these you know what let me see if i can find my flashlight one of my flashlights take a look at what we got here Let's see, DC brushless fan model A1225M12S, made in China. I'm going to assume these are SAMA branded fans. Let's take a look at the connectors on them, if I can get one out of here. Uh, no, it's kind of stuck behind there. Okay, let's get this back panel off. And uh, we'll take the front panel off, too, and take a look at this thing. Okay, so I got this semi-tore apart here on the back. Um, first thing I noticed, there is a very sizable amount of room for installing uh, cable mod extensions and what have you. Let's get out the room here and see how much depth we have. There is, looks like, one, two, point... One, two, yeah, we'll say 22 millimeters of uh, clearance there for cable extensions and tucking all your cables back and stuff from the wall. And this this kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting to see this. There's actually another plate here 
uh, in the back to put two more drives. So you can get two drives up there, two drives up there. Uh, I don't see any mounts up there on the sides there for the drive. So it looks like your drives are going to go there and there on the front. And then down here, it looks like hard drive caddy. Uh, looks like it'll hold two more drives and it is removable. So you can, of course, take this out. And then there's this that I noticed, which is a RGB hub, obviously. Um, RGB plugs in here. Here's a little thing that says LED that leads up to the top there to change the colors and the patterns and what have you. Uh, we'll have to take a look at this controller and see what it does. Uh, it's just, oh, it's even SATA. Interesting on how it plugs in, though. It, uh, it doesn't have a cable coming out from it. You actually take your cable from the power supply and plug it in right there. So, okay. Uh, there's only four ports for RGB, but the cables that come out from there that lead in, like from the fans, like here, let's see if we can isolate one to show you. Here. <laughs> wow, it's a mess. All right, let's see. Like, well, we'll just we'll just say like this fan here is coming in and it's coming in right here. I don't know if you can see this, this wire right here. And uh, it goes right here. And on the end of that, it kind of splits off right here on the terminal. Let me get out the flashlight. So I can. It kind of splits off right there. And then what it splits off onto, off onto, that mean makes sense, is something like this it's just a little cap and i'm sure there's a little yeah take that off there's a little uh three pin rgb there so if you want you can add more so it looks like you can add a total of let me count them one two three four extra of these so you can have what looks to be eight uh, RGB uh, components total on this. I don't want to limit it to just fans because obviously it's the three pin. You can do more than just fans with the three pin. So eight RGB devices total uh, to be controlled by this if you'd like. Um, not very clear what this other stuff is. Let me let me tilt this just a little bit. See if we can maybe read this and figure out what some of this stuff is. Uh, let's see what's it say. I'm looking at this top part right there. LEDs, LEDs. So I'm guessing that's probably for like an LED strip. I actually might have one that'll work for that. That looks like it's a four pin. Is it? Yeah. I'll have to look in my box. I think I might actually have an LED strip that would work for this if I wanted to. Um, one thing I don't like, and I unplugged it right here so you can see it, is right there where that fan, uh, take the flashlight off of it, where the fan plugs in, you can see it's only a three pin. So yeah, the RGB controller would be great, but if you're gonna use this as a fan controller, not so great. Uh, you don't have that PWM control. And there's not even any uh, switch or nothing to, you know, go high or low, which would have been, you know, at least nice. You know, wouldn't have been that great, but, it, you know, would have been helpful. So, I don't know. I, I haven't tested this yet, but uh, I'm going to say this uh, RGB controller is kind of mediocre at best. <laughs> Just because while it does, yes, uh, split the channel for your RGB, which comes in right here on this top one, uh, this would top part there would be what plugs onto your motherboard um yeah it's not so good in the uh fan department but anyways moving right along uh what else we get here we get a bag uh looks like we got some tie straps uh speaker a couple more nuts and you know your usual assortment of uh what have you uh, let's see a little more flashlight action going on up here for our panel up top which is nice because it's detached from that front bezel uh, looks like we got power button then your uh, 
activities, and then the hell is this? Oh, that's the lead button. Now, why didn't they just call that the reset button? You know, <laughs> that's kind of gimmicky. I mean, if you're going to put a lead button on there, at least put like you know a reset button too. You got to have a reset. Um. Well, what's this? Let me stand up a second. Now you notice, I, I thought this was for the front. Well, oh, or for the top. This must be for the front because look at that. It's a little longer and skinnier. Holy shit. Well, what do you know? I just learned something new. So I wonder if that goes on. Let me, uh, let me, uh, pop this up here real fast. Huh. This, this is the back of the uh, front bezel with that screen. What the hell did I just do with that? Oh, it's up here. I'm, I'm assuming it goes in here like this or something. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I guess that wouldn't be right. Well, what the hell? What the hell is this? I don't know. <laughs> it's longer than the rest of it. I mean, it, 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 it would have to. I, I mean, it, it fits. Maybe it goes on the opposite side. I'm going to have to check that out and see how that goes in there. But it looks like there's some kind of extra screen there for something. Maybe it goes underneath here. Maybe it fits right here. Let's check it out and see. Nope. It's got to be for those three fans in the front. I, I, I guarantee it's for the three fans in front. But, uh, well, let's... let's uh, take a look at the manual <laughs> this thing just folds all the way out let's see screen fix the screws fans on the rear fans on the PSU cover yep you can see it right there motherboard installation USB 3 HD yeah I'm not seeing anything about that filter Two and a half insulation. Hmm. Let's see. Or adapter. Mm hmm. Nothing. It, it, it basically talks about everything it, uh, except the uh, filter, of course. <laughs> Not that that's important. Oh, maybe it goes on the bottom too. That could very well be. Maybe. That could probably, possibly be. Well, let's see here. No, there's already a filter on the bottom. What the hell? I I, I tell you what. If if anything, this is a, a pretty well filtered case. Um. So yeah. So now I'm gonna have to test all this stuff out. Now, um. Like I said, since I've, I've kind of had this one on hold, I, I really wasn't sure what I want to do with this one. Uh, I just know I wanted it here in the house to add to my collection. Now, I'm going to do a build in this one. Uh, here's the thing. If you know me, I do, like, RGB shit all the time. Uh, I want to RGB this, but the only thing I have on the shelves that would probably have enough fans for to fit in here would uh, be some white fans and uh i don't think black and white really actually looks too well like we can get like the white uh you know shell for the fans i think that would look kind of tacky so i think what i'm gonna do uh is paint this thing yeah i'm gonna paint it <laughs> uh we'll see we'll see how that goes and since I know that there's a black border on the uh, frame here for that, I can paint this front part. This should actually be a really, really easy paint job. I think the only thing I would have to mask would be that top part there. And looks like there's only a couple screws holding in those uh, front panel connectors. So, yeah, I'll just have to take that out, mask up what I need, do my sanding, and, you know, blah, 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 and uh, do some painting on this. I think I'm going to paint this white. So, 
this is what this case looks like, you know, and, and I'm not doing a review, um, you know, if, you, if you're a semi-fan of my channel, I guess, you know, I don't really do reviews, I just check out shit and let you see them for yourself and talk about them. I don't really do too many reviews on them, but I do like to uh, try hacking them, do some modifications to them, make them look cool, and then show them off, and then they'll, you know, inevitably get posted to the builds.gg forums, uh, where you'll find most all my other builds. Oh, let's see. Looks like in front here, we can get a couple 140s. Dare I say three of them? Probably not, no. No, two for sure. Hmm. You know, I don't know what direction I want to go with this build. <laughs> I know I want to paint the inside white. Maybe I might do a vertical GPU, just for shits and giggles, because you know ger vertical GPUs are cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But I, I guess that's gonna be it for this video. You guys are getting. I, I guess I'm not getting too in depth with this one today. Like I said, I'm a little busy, but I did want to get this one out there so you guys could have a look at this. Uh, the price wasn't too bad. I got this off of New Egg. Um. Again, this is the Sama Space uh, 1X ARGB. Um, let's see if we can find this. Hold on a second here. Hold tight. We'll go to New Egg real fast. See how much this thing's going for. New Egg. Oh, kitty's in here meowing and bugging me again. Oh, let's see. There it is. Oh, <laughs> out of stock at figures. Like I said, I've, I've had this for a while. And, uh, yeah, I'm showing on Newegg it is out of stock. Here's a picture of what it would look like, what, uh, you know, allegedly with the RGB in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do my own thing to it. God, what did I pay for it? Let me see if I can at least get into my order history. I think it'll say. Fifty-three forty-nine is what I'm showing. Is what I paid for it. So that's not bad. That's you know just a little bit over fifty bucks, which is, uh, kitty, go away. Um, which is in a decent price range since you know with the GPU prices on the rise as of late. Um, kind of cutting the corners there and saving some money on the cost of the case would really, really be helpful. And one of the reasons that I chose this is because it kind of reminded me of the, uh, the, the P400, uh, the, well, the P400A. It kind of looked like that in the front there, don't you think? A little bit? Eh. But, uh, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, it's probably going to be a few weeks before I get the build done, of course, you know, because usually, like, when I paint something, I'm, I'm, I usually give it, like, a week total cure time after all is said and done with, uh, after doing the sanding, the priming, the painting, the what have you. But, uh, we'll, we'll come back in a couple weeks, um, if I'm not too busy with other projects that are not nerdy computer shit related. And, uh, we're going to do a build in this one, um... Whoa, what kind of build do I want to do? Jesus, I cannot make up my mind. I mean, I've got new parts on the shelf. I've got older parts on the shelf to do an older build. I could do, I don't know. I, I, I guess, here's the thing. I guess in my mind, I feel kind of guilty right now if... Uh, I, I took my newer parts and put new parts in here and put a flashy brand new GPU in here and all this because uh, just because of the prices that some of this shit is going for now, uh, I'd, I'd hate to, you know, build something here and have people go, oh, man, I, I, I wish I could have that one in mil you know, I just and I know it's going to be out of uh, price range for a lot of people just because of those damn gpus and that sucks people it really does i feel bad um i i guess lucky for me i i do have a nice little horde of brand new <laughs> gpus that i've had for quite a while and uh, i've had those you know before the uh before the tariffs really took their toll on uh, <laughs> on the electronics world but uh yeah all right so 
this is the Sama case. Um, I'll see you guys later. Like I said, I've, I've got a lot of stuff going on here, and I apologize if I didn't spend too much time on this, and I apologize if I kind of babbled a little little more often than usual in this video uh, about other shit besides this case but uh yeah we'll see you in a couple weeks and i'll try to get my shit together and i'm gonna do something with this one um gotta clear some room out and then uh i'll see you guys again um i don't know if that's gonna be the next video i probably gonna put out something else before that too because i still got these arcades that i'm working on and I want to finish them up because I the videos I've been doing on them are actually I'm actually showing you stuff that I'm not doing with it <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, I've been showing stuff like you know with like the raspberry pies and I'm actually not using the pie. But all right, uh, that's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one, and uh, when we come back to this case, we'll see it in a uh, prettier shape and uh, looking pretty cool. So I'll talk to you later, guys, and bye.